Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Danny D1. Today, guys, man, we're going to be going over how you can go ahead and earn staff points. And, you know, of course, you know, the best way to go ahead and earn them. Now, staff points are pretty easy to earn, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, as you guys can go ahead and see, every single time you go ahead and load up to a game, you have weekly goals. Now, your weekly goals, of course, I believe... Come on, man. Go away. Your weekly goals will be on that right-hand side, as you guys can see. You have goals right there. No. Gosh, turn it. So if you go... It's not letting me do it. But you have goals right there, as you guys can see. Hopefully, you guys can see it. So if you click triangle or on the playstation or on xbox it should be why you have goals that you can go ahead and knock out which would allow you to go ahead and get some of these staff points now of course you see that i'm starting off with a good amount of staff points as i have set for my staff points i already have 100 but that's because i went ahead and i pre-ordered the game now let's go let's go into how you can get some staff points as well though before we go ahead and get into it don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you turn your post notifications so that way you never miss lit content like this now like i was saying man so the quickest and easiest way to go ahead and get your staff points going is setting a game day goal or selecting a game day goal. Now it's pretty simple, um, as you guys can see here, for your head coach, these are worth four. So you can go ahead and get these things knocked out, but these are, you know, these will have to be done as you continue to play the game. So it's really, really, really important that you go ahead and do it. Now some of these, you know, some are achievable and some are just pretty, pretty large. So win the turnover battle is the one that they have selected, but you know. Maybe I want to do score five offensive touchdowns or something like that, and maybe I get three. At least I can still get two staff points compared to me not getting anything at all. And so I kind of like the way that this is kind of broken up. The same thing for defensive coordinator as well, as you guys can see. It's broken up, but for them, it's three. Um, so for the defensive coordinator, you get a max of three staff points. And the same is for that offensive coordinator as well. Um, and so as you go ahead and select your weekly or your game day goals, rather, that is how you're going to be able to go ahead and get your staff points. Now, it's very crucial that you go ahead and select something so that way you can actually have something to go ahead and work towards and achieve for those staff points. But that is the main way that you go ahead and get those staff points. As we know, as of right now, I don't believe there's actually any other way currently that you can go ahead and get staff points besides just setting those game day goals. And those game day goals, once again, like I said, are crucial and definitely help you out towards setting or towards getting those staff points. Now, of course you're going to get staff points as you continue to sim through the different seasons um excuse me in different games you're going to get some staff points as well but the easiest and the quickest way to go ahead and get them is just setting those game day goals and making sure that those game day goals are completed now once those game day goals actually are completed you'll be set no problems no fans are about to buy it of course and let's go ahead let's sim past this one to see if we can go ahead and yeah, let's sim to the regular season let's see if we can go ahead and get a season goal in there because i believe if you get a season goal in there you should be able to go ahead and get something set up for right there so as you guys see right there we advance through it and of course as you go ahead and advance through it you get some things done and then of course you have season goals that you guys can go ahead and set for yourself so the season goals of course have not been selected just yet let's see if it lets me select them i don't know if it's going to let me but hopefully it does and your season goals will allow you to go ahead and get some staff points or yeah get some staff points as well so yeah it's not letting me select a season goal just yet but i don't know why it's not letting me do it but still that's how you're going to go ahead and you're going to get staff points so as you continue to sim through games continue to play games you'll go ahead and continue to get your um staff points as well and of course as you select those daily goals those daily game day goals you'll be able to get staff points also so hopefully this video helped you out if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you turn your post notifications so that way you never miss lit content like this and other than that man it's your boy down plays and we out of here peace